Hello, I'm in my pajamas because it's in the middle of the night and I'm going to be filming Get Ready With Me because that's what I do in the middle of the night. I play with makeup. <sighs> Tonight I'm sipping on Yogi Antioxidant Green Tea and I don't know if I'm the only person but I just get like the most satisfying feeling from drinking a nice hot cup of unsweetened green tea. It's delicious. Green tea is probably one of my favorite types of tea. I have a couple palettes I haven't tested out yet. I think I might test out this City Limits palette that's completely untouched here by IBY. I just got that in a yes oh yes. So let's get started with the face. I've almost emptied this moisturizer. This is Clooney Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my Azure Luxe 24 Karat Gold Sparkling Oil Serum. So, I don't really know what to talk about this video thing, so I'm just going to talk about whatever pops in my mind. I've got several ideas for Halloween videos, and I kind of procrastinated on that. Hopefully I can finish all what I want to finish in time. I've got this nail tutorial that I'm editing right now. Then I just uh, made a wig. Hopefully the wig turns out okay. And then I'm going to do a makeup tutorial using that wig. I'm probably only going to do one or two makeup tutorials this year. And I plan to do three nail tutorials including the two that I've already done. I'm going in with my Principal Secrets Continuous Lifting Serum. Super excited for Halloween. Um, I met this fellow YouTuber who lives in the same city I do on Free Cycle, and I needed Halloween decorations, so I posted an ad on Free Cycle, and uh, she responded and gave me some Halloween decorations, which is hella awesome of her. Her name's Morticia, and their channel is like Jekyll, Jekyll and Hyde something. I'll leave the link in the description box, but you should check them out. They're awesome. Every day of the year is Halloween to them, and that is just totally awesome to me. They do a lot of Halloween hauls and spooky activities. Check them out if you're into the spooky spirits. Anyway, so now I have lots of Halloween decorations for the kids, and I have lots of toys and candy, and now I'm going in with this 111 Skin Harley St. London Space Defense Bright Eye Lift Gel. I just got this in an Etsy. Seems to work okay. I really love the scent. I'm not really noticing any difference between this serum and my Principal Secret serum, but I notice when I combine the two, I get like even more of a lift on my under eye wrinkles and my forehead wrinkles. So that's just really beneficial to mix the two. I was really happy that they did send a serum to me because serums are expensive and I use them every time I put on my makeup. It really does make a difference if you're starting to show your age. Use a serum. Um, this tea, it's like, it's kind of tastes like it has berries or something in it. I didn't read the ingredients, but it tastes kind of sweet. So next we're going to go in with my concealer. This is part of my Project Pan. This is the Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. And I'm going to go in with the orange using a sponge. And next I'm going to take my Manic Panic Creature of the Night foundation in Lily White and pat that over top of the concealer. I'm actually a big fan of Yogi Tea. It's a local tea company. I think from Eugene, Oregon. And so they're not too far away. I know they're from somewhere in Oregon. I've always liked Yogi Tea, but I have to be careful because I am allergic to chamomile. So I have to make sure the tea does not contain chamomile. I'm taking my Bare Minerals face brush with the well in it, affecting face, I don't know what it's called. I'm taking my Alme Wake Up Foundation and just getting that on the face. It's probably going to take several prompts. And I've decided I don't really like this primer I've been using. In fact, I should just give it away. 
It's just not the right type of primer for my skin tone. It makes me break out like crazy. That's the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. So I'm not going to use that anymore. I'm just going to get rid of it. I got rid of a whole bunch of makeup last night. I should have like filmed a declutter video, but I just didn't. I got rid of like a large makeup bag full of makeup. It wasn't that big of a declutter. I've done bigger declutter. What I got rid of was a few Wet n Wild palettes that were really old. I got rid of a few Physician Formula shimmer strip palettes that were old. I got rid of a bunch of lip gloss. Oh, I got rid of some of my Essence single eyeshadows too. Usually what I do with my extra makeup is I either give it to my neighbors or I give it to my apartment manager who donates it to the women's shelter because she works for a women's shelter. I should probably add a new primer to my project pan. I don't know, I kind of want to start using a luminescent primer. This is a moisturizer. Ooh, that's beautiful. I've never used this before. This is by Tarte. My mom gave this to me. I actually bought it from my mom and then my mom gave it to me. Um, it is the Brighter Days Tarte Moisturizer. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Can't wait to use that. I'm going to add these two to my project pan. But I don't think I'm going to add them yet. I think I'll add this Benefit Pore Professionals to my project pan currently. Now I'm going to go in with my face powder. I found a Chinese tea company and I will link them down below but I want to blog about them and as soon as I get paid I'm going to buy a bunch of teas from them because they'll refund you for it if you blog about them. I'm really interested to try it. I love Chinese tea. I love oolong and jasmine and guar tea. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm just really excited to test out a bunch of Chinese tea and review it. It's interesting because I've always been more of a coffee drinker, but lately I've really been into drinking tea. But I've really, I've really expanded my tea collection. Probably all started when I signed up for the Better Tea Club, and like I'm just like I'm one of the I'm a collector, and like I go through like periods where I get obsessed with collecting one thing in particular. And I just get like all obsessed about it and I gotta have a whole bunch of it and that's one of the things I'm collecting right now is tea. Another thing I'm collecting is nail art supplies and makeup of course. That's like a constant thing I usually collect. Even when I took a break from filming YouTube I would still purchase makeup every once in a while. And I don't have an issue with collecting makeup. I mean <laughs> I have an issue with collecting makeup, but I don't have an issue with me collecting makeup because I feel like I'm putting most of it to good use and what I don't use I'm donating away to friends or charity or whatnot so I don't feel like my money's being wasted. Most makeup isn't being thrown in the garbage. Feeling this cranberry shade up in the corner here, drop base. But I'm also feeling this dance party shade. I'm gonna take this Pixie by Petra eyeliner in Deep Plum and line my upper waterline and the inner little half of the waterline. And then I'm gonna line the lash line on the lid. I'm gonna use this sponge tip brush, kind of blend out that line. Oh, I remember something that somebody wanted me to talk about. My hair goals. What are my hair goals? I have several hair goals. Currently, I'm just growing out my hair. I'm probably going to get it cut in December. I'm just letting it, letting it get nice and long. I haven't had my hair cut since... I think my last haircut was July. And my last haircut, I had, um back shortens and I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do next um, being that it's December I'm gonna want something long so that it's not too cold I'll probably get some bangs that kind of frame my face some layers since it will be long and that's probably what I'll do in December and then Come springtime when it starts heating up, I'm going to cut the back again, and depending on how long it is, I'm going to either cut the back where it's coming down like I did last time, uh, what do you call that, A-line, or I'm going to do an undercut. 
but my main goal is to grow it out uh, long again. I don't really care so much about the back if it's shaved, but I want to grow the front and the top part long again. And as far as the color, what I've been doing is I've been adding um, Gentian Violet to my shampoo and conditioner to get it this like uh, lavender blonde. It's not, it's a little greasy because I haven't washed it. Well, I've, I've washed it, but I haven't washed it with shampoo. I've just uh, conditioned it because I don't. I like, don't like to wash my hair with shampoo on the daily, like that's really bad for the health of your hair. So I don't usually wash my hair with shampoo on the daily and my hair will get really greasy like that because of it, but um, I usually only shampoo my hair um, at most three times a week and then I'll condition my hair more than three times a week. Um, and then sometimes I'll leave, use leave-in conditioner too to keep it healthy and um, strong. I'm going to take this Coastal Scents um, round brush, round smudgy brush, smudge brush, I don't know what these are called, smudge brush I think. Yeah, I'm going to go into backstage. And just put that along the lash line. Um, I want to be able to curl my hair eventually again. Like, I can curl my hair now, but I want to have like long curls like I used to. And I want to um, be able to put my hair up in chopsticks again. I've decided I don't want to put dreads or braids or anything like that in my hair ever again because last time I dreaded my hair, um, it made my hair really fine and thin. It made a bunch of my hair fall out. So that was kind of a mistake. Um, I think my hair was just too heavy or the braids were too tight or, or the dreads were too tight or I don't know. But, I'm not going to do that ever again. Okay, next I'm going to anti drop base. I'm not opposed to wearing wigs though. I'm doing drop base in the inner corner. And I feel like I should do something else on the outer corner. So I'm bringing drop base into the inner part right there and it's kind of blending with the blue that was on the brush so I'm getting this really cool like rainbow macaw color coming on my eye from the mix of the red and the blue I'll probably end up dyeing my hair with more like interesting colors in the future my hair holds color really well. I usually don't have to bleach it for it to hold color, especially if it's really good quality dye. Okay, next I'm taking this Custis Lens little fluffy brush. Okay, I'm gonna go into Fire and Ice and place that on the outer corner right there. This is going to be a very interesting look that I wasn't anticipating to make with it. Last time I dyed my hair black was 2010 I think and I've decided I'm not going to dye my hair black anymore. For one, I'm allergic to black dye. And for two, um, it's just too hard to get black dye out of blonde hair. It like damages it too much. 
and I really don't want to damage my hair any more than I have to. Okay, now I'm going to a dance party. I'll just stick to like brightly colored dyes. Like uh, blues and greens and purples and things like that. There is some fallout with this. So what I'm going to do is take my little Coastal Sense fan brush. I'm just going to dust out and fall out. And this is just a large fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into Nightfall. And pat that on the center there. I'm going to take this Soho fluffy blending brush and blend the edges. Currently, I don't feel like I will ever uh, cut my hair short again, but knowing me, I probably will because I eventually get tired of it being long. Um, Next I'm going into Playlist on this fluffy crown brush and oh, I need to go back with this fluffy brush and go into Nightfall again and go in the upper corner of the brow bone. I'm not sure how I feel about this look. Might be too many colors mixed together. It might be getting muddy. I probably should have done a white base. Okay, so that's it for the palette. Now I'm going to be using two different liquid liners. Or two different liners. Okay. So first I'm going to do a line with this War Paint Beauty um, True Love liquid liner and then I'm going to paint over top of that with this Ben Nye cream colors in blue. So we want to paint kind of a thick line with this War Paint. Actually, you know what? I've changed my mind on how I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the front half of the line with the red and then I'm going to switch to blue on the outer half of the line. So do the other side of the eye. Okay, next I'm going in with this angled liner brush and the Ben Nye. I'm feeling very macabre with this. Okay, now I'm going to take some concealer and clean up those edges. And then I'm going to take this uh, Couture Diva liquid eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take this Q-tip and just dab a little on it. And run it along the inner part of my eye. And then I'm going to take this Hard Candy Walk the Line liner in Twist Up Lime and paint along the edge there. I feel like this needs eyelashes. Um, let's see what eyelashes I have. How about these blue eyelashes here? These, I don't know what these are. Um, the package has since been removed, but a friend of mine gave these to me. Next, I'm going to take this LA Colors Big Lash uh, Eye Mascara in Navy. Now I'm going to take this NYX Mascara in Mint Julep. And do the bottom lashes. So real quick, I'm going to use some cover effects um, setting spray on those eyes so they don't budge. 
I'm going to use this pretty vulgar blush in Prim Vixen that we got in a boxy charm. And I'm going to use this crown brush that I got in I Yes of Yes, I think. I think that's where I got it. I want to focus most of that on the apples of my cheeks. Fade a little bit on the cheekbone. I'm going to just do the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to take this Naked Cosmetics uh, Holographic Highlighter set. And I'm going to take this yellow highlighter on this SL Miss Glam highlighting brush. And pull that on the cheeks there. And a little on the nose. A little on the forehead. A little on the cupid's bow. And a little on the chin. And then I'm going to go into this like peachy pearl shade right here. And drag that on the cheeks. And then tap that off. And then I'm going to go into the blue shade in the middle here. And drag that right under the cheeks. How about I contour with this blue in the Party Animal Palette by um, Laura Lee Los Angeles that I got in a boxy charm. I'm going to contour with this karaoke. Actually, first I'll go with damage control, then karaoke. So I'm going to take my unicorn contour brush and dab it into damage control and just contour the cheeks and really make sure you fade this. So I guess I'm kind of doing a Halloween look even though I didn't really expect to. This was just to get ready with me and it turned into a Halloween get ready with me. We are being the macaw. More choices for kids and adults. Right here. Just a little. You don't want it too dark right there. Really make sure to fade that out. Okay, and then I'm going into karaoke and just taking that on the very inner edge of the jaw. I think I'm going to take the same crown brush and go into bottoms up, which is this beautiful glittery pink, and put that right on the apples of my cheeks and kind of blend it. This AOA Studio lipstick in Lit, and we're just doing the outer part of the lip. Next, I'm taking my Katy Perry like cover girl lipstick and beautiful kit doing the inner part of the lip and I'm gonna take my Urban Decay third degree by special effects put a little on the center of my lip and tap that out and on the top part of the lip I'm just going to put a little on the high points of my cheeks. I mean, all you need to buy, book, and save 
save money, it's right in the app. And the more you do, the more you save. What? Take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And my my water over. Here's the finished look. Ooh, it's so rainbow, so colorful. Thanks for watching. Bye.